and 20 years of 20 plus years of traveling and staying, I would say 60% of those years in hotel rooms and the other 40% in an RV. Um, I always try to find hotels that had a little kitchenette of some kind, right? A lot don't, and sometimes you don't have a choice, um, but it made it a little bit easier. Where do I even start? My first storm, I was, uh, I was overweight to begin with, and I showed up there and it was super duper stressful. And I went through McDonald's drive through for three meals a day, basically. And I gained even more weight. And I was, I ran myself so ragged that I would just like eat, you know, a, a double quarter pounder with cheese and fries and have a big drink and then throw, put it all in the bag and throw it in the back seat. Didn't take long for, and then just not clean it out because I was just like running a gun and just nonstop. Um, <laughs> I, and I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed to tell this story, but I had like, over the the passenger seat was like that's how deep the like McDonald's bags were in the car, <laughs> and I was at this guy's house, this homeowner's house, and um, right in the estimate up in the car, I was trying to state farm. This was a State Farm storm, and it was my first storm, and they they really this is where I learned how to like close on site. Um, they really hammered this, and so I'm sitting there, I'm trying to write this one up on site, and the homeowner comes out. To, he forgot to tell me something, right? He comes over and the windows are all down because my air conditioner wasn't working on my old beat up truck that I had. And he leans in, puts his arms on the, the door and he gets ready to say something. And he looks around and he goes, boy, you sure do eat a lot of McDonald's, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I mean, the shame was instantaneous. And from that point, that's when I like had a little tr trash system. I had a little, just found a cardboard box and put a little tiny trash bag in it and just threw everything in there and then just emptied it out every day. And then I was trying to like, you know, knock off all the McDonald's, but that was a harder, much harder challenge. Um, I've gone you know through- when you fill up, that's when you dump all your trash. Right, yeah, exactly. But it was so many bags, it's like, I'm just going to have like an armload of them. I'm like, yeah, screw it. I'm just going to, but I've gone through like that phase, like, and it's been cycles through the years, you know, where it's like, you eat nothing but junk food. Cause you just like, you just, it's the lowest priority thing to, I trained for a triathlon when I was on cat. I did P90X. Like I did, I did P90X twice in a row one year while I was on cat. And I got, to, I mean, I was ripped and I was like the absolute best shape of my entire life. Didn't like, as soon as I finished the P90X, I was like, man, I'm, I look great. I'm going to go eat pizza now. And then it was, it was over. So I just completely ruined it. I don't know why that happens, but the, I had a George Foreman grill that I used, like you used it till it fell apart. Yep. And it's, especially if you're in a hotel room that just has like a microwave, um, that works pretty well. Cause you can throw a chicken breast in there. Um, and I got to the point where I had a bin that I always took with me. Like I had my clothes and my work right. stuff. And then I had another, like a kitchen bin and it had the spatula, spatula that I like to use. And it had a nonstick pan in it, which by the way, wrap it in a towel, please. And you stick it in anywhere because it, it'll bump something, anything. And it scratches the nonstick, right? And then it ruins it. Okay. Don't overheat it. Um, so I would take a, like a skillet with me and then I would find, skirt steak used to be really inexpensive until everybody discovered that they're great on tacos. And so, but I, I bought a lot of skirt steak, hamburger, bacon and eggs, chicken breasts, all that kind of stuff when I was trying to eat healthy. Um, but you're right. Like the very beginning of a storm, it is very, very, very hard to like go out and work especially on a big hurricane where, you know, you might be two hours away from your claims because that's the closest hotel that you could find. Right. And you're doing a two hour commute one way each, every day. So you're out for like 15, 16 hours and then go back to your hotel room and cook something. That's not going to happen. Right. So right. then it becomes, well, let's try to make the best of these of bad choices and uh, go to Chipo Chipotle, go to Qdoba, go to like find a taco place or go to a Mexican restaurant and don't get the chips and just get, get a, get like steak fajitas or chicken fajitas or shrimp fajitas or whatever. Right. And then that way you can kind of keep it under control a little bit, but even then going to a restaurant, it's still, you're still going to be there for an hour. Right. And you still, you got work to do. So then it becomes, well, 
it, the drive through becomes the option. Or if you've got a microwave, right, then you can, you can in a little mini fridge with a freezer in it. You got to double check and make sure the freezer, the, the fridge has a freezer in it. And it's big enough to hold more than two boxes of like pot pockets or whatever you want to get. Right. Cause you'll do that. You'll go and you'll buy like, I want that and that and that. And you'll, you'll get like a whole bag full of frozen dinners. And you go to your hotel room with a little mini fridge in it and the freezer is that big and you can only fit two. Yeah. You're jamming them. You're taking them out of the boxes and stuffing them in there. And then it doesn't freeze very well because it's like it's stuffed full. And so everything kind of like gets half defrosted in there. Um, so it's, it is it is very challenging. Um, having an RV is huge because you can, you're basically just taking your house with you and you just, you're, you've got your fridge there. Some RVs, you know, you can... They either come with a full-size fridge, or you can retrofit a, like a regular fridge in there. But I found that the, the fridge that I have always had in an RV was plenty for one person. So what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail damaged house? On video, what about how to actually do a claim in Xactimate? What is stability and how do you even get started in it? What if there was one place, one huge and expanding library of property claims adjusting videos showing how it's done? What if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now at adjustertvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride along. Speaking of ride alongs, click here to get right along to the next video. Because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see? Ride along, get it right. Just move right along versus ride along. It's right along, get right along to it.